Hey everybody, it's Peter Dills. I'm standing on Figueroa in downtown LA in front of Morton's, the steakhouse. Why? Today's story is about steaks. You know what? Plus, we're going to talk about a happy hour. You know, I got an interesting story about Morton's. Well, I think it's interesting at least. I think you will too. The co-founders of Morton's actually was Arnie Morton and a guy named Klaus Frisch. Klaus was a chef at the Playboy Club in Montreal and Arnie worked there. Well, Arnie wanted a hamburger. Sat down, had a hamburger, loved it so much, walks into the kitchen and says, who made this hamburger? And Klaus says, well, I did, sir. Well, years later, they're partners in Morton's. So Morton's actually started through a hamburger. Hmm, interesting. When you come to Morton's, the steakhouse, I want you to get a little bit dressed up. Ah, but if you want to go casual and go to the bar, that's okay too. They have a great happy hour. They call it the power hour. Check out those great prices. Right now, I want to introduce you to Keith. He is the bartender and he's created some really, really great drinks using Maker's Mark, of course. How you doing? Uh, I'm Keith and I'm one of the bartenders at Morton Steakhouse downtown Los Angeles and I'm going to be preparing a couple of classic Maker's Mark cocktails today. First off, I'm going to start off with the um, classic Manhattan. Fill my mixing glass up with some ice. And then, of course, get some of the great Maker's Mark bourbon. And I'm going to add a little bit of sweet vermouth, about a half an ounce. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of the cherry juice from the cherry jar. Give it about 15, 20 hard shakes. Get it all in there. Then top it off with a cherry. That is the classic. Manhattan. Okay, next I'm going to do the uh, old fashioned. Old fashioned here, we I highly recommend as a nice after dinner drink after a really big steak. A great old fashioned with a little sweet note is a perfect drink. Now for this drink, we're going to instead of using the regular Maker's Mark, we're going to use the new fo Maker's 46. We're going to get a sugar cube, the whole nice slice of orange, a couple of dabs of some soda water to loosen it up a little bit. I'm going to muddle it, make myself a nice little paste here. I'm going to put about two or three dollops of bitters. We want to do about two ounces. Okay. Spoon, and you want to mix it. Now, you don't want to shake it, you want to mix it. Why? Because you want to have nice pockets of flavor, and when you shake it, it's really going to blend it together. That is an outstanding old fashioned. Thanks for the drink. Well, we learned about the drinks. We've learned about the history of the restaurant. What are we missing? The steaks. Let's go into the kitchen. Let's learn more about the steaks at Morton's The Steakhouse. Hello, my name is Fernando Ubario. I'm the executive chef here at Morton's downtown Los Angeles, San Juan Figueroa. And Peter, I know you love great steaks. So what I'm gonna cook for you is one of Morton's classics as a steak Oscar, a porterhouse, a company with some great lioness potatoes. Now we're gonna get started with the really hot skillet. We're gonna add some bacon fat to the skillet. Next we're gonna add our potatoes. Season them with salt and pepper. Next what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna walk over here and put our filet mignon. Now we're gonna let that cook for about three minutes on each side. Let it cook for approximately a minute and a half. Then we're gonna toss them around. Now I'm gonna put my porterhouse in here. Our colossal lump crab meat and as asparagus. Put in the warmer. Top it off with our beautiful crab meat. Finishing touch, we're gonna top it off with some Bernays. On this, I'm gonna top it off with some au jus for more flavor. Look how beautiful that looks. And there you have it, Peter. The best steakhouse in the world. It's the Filet Oscar with asparagus, jumbo lump crab, and a Bernays sauce. Goes great with the Maker's Mark Manhattan. Okay, steak lovers, here it is. It's Morton's Porterhouse Steak with Leonese potatoes. And I gotta tell you, it goes great with a California Cabernet. I hope you saved room. Morton's makes an incredible carrot cake. And you know what? It goes great with an old fashioned. 
the carrot cake is big enough for two. As I mentioned before, it's power hour time at Morton's Steakhouse. Here's Chef Fernando with a few of his specialties. So if you dine out a lot, you know that sliders are very popular right now. And Chef Fernando here at Morton's The Steakhouse does it right. You know, I've been coming to Morton's Steakhouse in downtown LA for quite a few years now, and they finally offered me my own wine locker. It's a great way to make sure that your own reserve is always ready for you. Yep, that's my favorite. That carrot cake looks great, and these sliders, well, I'll share them with you if you share that carrot cake with me. Peter Dill signing off from Morton's The Steakhouse in downtown Los Angeles for Dining with Dills.